Yeah, and this is one more thing. Like, I get guys come to me and they go, so what happens, Tate, if I try your stuff and she doesn't listen to me and she just walks and she leaves? Because it's a real worry for a lot of these guys, especially like, you know, and, and it's especially hard. Like if you've been in a relationship for two years and your chick hasn't respected you for two years and now you're going to try and get gangster on her, it's going to be hard. Like she's got a perception of you. And this is what I try and say. That that's why I start it a certain way. That's why I cut off the male friends within the first couple of weeks. I'm like, look, this is not going to go any further. Here, really. Yeah, it's not going to go any further if it ain't going to be this way. Yeah, you know, so uh, got to get the fuck out of here, man. Because it's, it's much easier to start on the right path than try and correct a fucked up path. Uh, so I have this view of it. Like I said, I look at the world through chess, etc. But I have this view of it where what's the worst that can happen? And the worst that can happen is she leaves. But I kind of sit and think a lot of the guys, I get emails from guys and the scenarios they're explaining to me, they're not worth having. You're like, oh, but she does this, she does this. I'm like, and you, and you still want her, bro? Like, right. Like, like, you, so you've got, you've got to have enough honor to go, you know what? I deserve better, I'm out. And at least you can walk with your head held high. And what might happen is you might shock her into changing. But she ain't mm -hmm. expecting that. If you, you know, she ain't expecting you to go, you know what? I have nothing to buy. And mean it. That, you know, Trump, I'm a huge Trump fan, but Trump, he wrote you the are, book. You are. <laughs> I'm a Trump fan. So, but Trump wrote the book, The Art of the Deal, and he said the number one thing you need to know. His man is, wrote the book. You, yeah. You have to, <laughs> he wrote the book. Fuck oh, fuck yeah, true. Yeah. Fuck he fuck said, you, you, you have to be prepared to walk away from the table. It's, it's, your, it's your number one negotiating tool. It's your absolute negotiating tool. You have to be prepared to walk away, and may, maybe that will fuck the whole thing up. But I had, okay, so I'll give you an example. I had a guy who, uh, who came to me and I was coaching him. He's like, my girl's hanging around with all these dudes and they're smoking weed, all this shit we've talked about. And I was like, bro, just dump her. Just tell her, look, you're, not, you're unhappy in this situation. You care about her a lot. You deserve it. This is not the kind of relationship you want to end up in in a long term. You're not wasting your time and just bail on her. And he goes, oh, but what if she sleeps with one of those guys? I was like, look, if, at least that way you walk away with your head held high. If this carries on the way it's going, she's going to cheat on you anyway. Like so, you like so. Where so? What are you losing? People are so desperate to hold on to the girl for a couple extra weeks that they want to sacrifice all their honor, and they want to sacrifice their negotiating position. Because if you walk away, it might make her sit and go, "Oh fuck, okay." Even if it's a ten percent chance, it's a chance. She ain't gonna change her mind if you're staying with her while she fucking does it. She ain't gonna change her mind then. So like a lot of people are afraid to walk away because they're like, oh, I might lose that exchange. And I say, yeah, but it's the only move you have on the board. I might, you might lose the chess game, but it's the only move that makes any kind of sense. So what else are you going to do?